memories, regrets, yet elation. It was all there, flitting through the thoughts of those witnessing the end of an era. In the minds of many who lost their loved ones in the New Guinea campaign, it was a much more penetrating. To Sergeant Tony Kell of the Madang district fell the task of lowering the final Australian flag in Papua New Guinea. And in the background, the soft, compelling sound But the final drama of the ceremony to hardened media men and those with a feeling for Papua New Guinea over the years was the dignified, yet to those watching closely, deep emotional effect on Australia's Governor-General, Sir John Kerr, when presented with the retired flag. Laced with many creeds and colours. Today, the red, black and gold of Papua New Guinea's flag was presented by Governor-General Sir John Guise to Chief Warrant Officer Ambo of the Pacific Islands Regiment. It was then escorted with full military dignity to the top of Independence Hill and ceremoniously hoisted for all to see. Perhaps the speed and thunder of the RAAF jets symbolised the thrust towards this Papua New Guinea Independence Day over the last five years, while the world watches as the infant nation now takes its place in the Brotherhood of Man.